now. It's time for our daily devotion, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christo Dogino Baga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily abiding in Jesus Christ. May 13, 2020 Ezekiel 20 verse 12 Moreover also I gave them my Sabbaths, to be a sign between me and them, that they might know that I am the Lord that sanctify them. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy The institutions that God has established are for the benefit of mankind. Since he made all things, he made the Sabbath. By him it was set apart as a memorial of the work of creation. It points to him as both the creator and the sanctifier. It declares that he who created all things in heaven and in earth, and by whom all things hold together, is the head of the church, and that by his power we are reconciled to God. For, speaking of Israel, he said, I gave them my Sabbaths, to be a sign between me and them, that they might know that I am the Lord that sanctify them. Make them holy, Ezekiel 20 verse 12. Then the Sabbath is a sign of Christ's power to make us holy. And it is given to all whom Christ makes holy. As a sign of his sanctifying power, the Sabbath is given to all who through Christ become a part of the Israel of God. And the Lord says, if thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, Isaiah 58 Berea 13, and 14. To all who receive the Sabbath as a sign of Christ's creative and redeeming power, it will be a delight. Seeing Christ in it, they delight themselves in him. The Sabbath points them to the works of creation as an evidence of his mighty power in redemption. By Ellen G. White Desire of Ages, pages 288, 289